This is the S&P 500 one day reading for November 2nd, 2022. It's currently September 18th, 2022, 11.39 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so we have a notable move to the upside that'll stand out on a multi-day chart. Um, when we're looking at a one day chart, we'll see a, a big move here uh, to the upside. And it looks like um, in the pre-market or overnight, we had a big move harder reaching for distant resistance. Um, right at the open, we have a critical price level that's highlighted and there's a, an opportunity there in the midst of some volatility to position oneself to play both directions, um, utilizing option spreads with calls and puts like a straddle or strangle. Um, and positioning oneself like that. So that's a key mean point as far as price level. We know that we'll be above it. We know that we'll be below it um, in the near future. Um, the behavior around the high, we, we meet a critical resistance on a multi, on a multi-year chart. Um, we meet critical resistance and we sell from near overbought territory in RSI. We have a cross time frame congruency here where there's a notable rally here. Um, a lot of price movement um, is made here between like 10 and 11 uh, along a diagonal trend line. We break through horizontal resistance, meet a secondary resistance, and then we pull back to somewhere between those two price levels. Um, we rotate along support between roughly uh, 11 and 12-ish, and then there's a failed attempt to break through a key resistance that would look like people are expecting us to break through. We probably pushed at it earlier. It's probably we pushed at it in that 10 to 11 o'clock hour, and people are expecting us to continue the bullish trend um, after a little bit of a pullback um, to break through and continue, but we don't. We, we turn around and we break down through key resistance on a one-day chart. Um, and then there's a decline that increases or that has consecutively lower spikes up on the way down. Those spikes up, usually, usually they meet moving averages as resistance and the moving averages are usually in a bearish formation for the strife card. So that'll take us into a low. I mean, it looks like we decline the rest of the day, except maybe towards the very end of the day um, where there's a fast sudden move higher. But we decline around two o'clock. We decline two and through a support level, meet another support level, and rotate sideways along that. Um, in the last hour, there's a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one-day chart, followed by a decline through key support on a one-day chart. And then right around the close, we have a fast sudden move to the upside and a rally in the post-market um, that uh, it's a sideways fluctuation with a bullish trend that precedes a decline, I should say, not so much of a rally, but um, and a trade opportunity in, uh, right around the low, which I, I sense is likely going to be towards the end of the day. Um, I know we have the correlation here, but due to all these continued declines in the trade correlation here, again, I think probably at the, at the end of the day or in the last hour there. No. There's a trade opportunity at a low here. Matter of fact, it looks like it's a trade opportunity at a high, at a resistance, and then we break down. Um, and it looks like um, there's a trade opportunity the following morning. So we're moving to the upside. We have the reversal card. The fortune card as a sneak preview. Likely we ha we're, uh, we open in the opposite direction that we move when we're the, uh, the opposite direction that we're moving when we go into the close on the second. We'll open um, lower if we're moving higher. We'll, we'll open higher if we're moving lower going into the close on the second. Um, and what I want to be doing here is making sure that I'm positioning myself. Um, if I'm doing swing trades, I should really be looking at the one month overview reading, which you get um, ahead of the, the month, about a week ahead of the month. Um, if you signed up for the free uh, newsletter that comes out on our from our website, tarotfortraders.com, it's free. You get the month monthly overview. It's got like a 98% average accuracy. There's usually like 30 or so statements in there. Um, it's pretty helpful, guys, and we've been doing it for quite some time, averaging with 98% average accuracy. So check it out. It's free. Sign up. Um, and do your swing trades use, utilizing that rather than the day trades. It's really tricky to, to do it with day trades. But what we're looking for is a longer term, um, a longer term, uh, like sh we want to we want to open up a position expecting a downturn here towards the very end of the month. Yeah, and like that last weekend, or I should say second to last weekend, the weekend of like the 17th, 18th, 19th. 20th, 21st, 22nd, like that whole time frame, a big dip there.
you know? So we want to make sure that we have ourselves positioned out far enough with our puts that we can really capitalize on that because this is one of the month's highs, if not the high. Looks like we have a higher high in October, or excuse me, in December. Um, and that's the S&P 500 one day reading for November 2nd, 2022. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And guys, remember that rule of karma is super important. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, check out that rule of karma video if you don't know what I'm talking about.